Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you late. Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that Hello, my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. It's kind of rainy and dreary here and cool, which I love that. <laughs> but it's kind of like a, a light spritzy rain out there. Enough for you to have to put your wipers on, but not like full blast or anything. It's kind of making me sleepy. But today I wanted to just come on and see if I could... I haven't practiced doing my makeup in a while, y'all, because... I give all the makeup people out there that do these tutorials and makeup things every day on their channel. I, I tell you, I give them the most credit because that's a lot of work, not only to put it on, but also to take it off. And since I started working part time, I have really, really not had a lot of time. So. Instead of going and taking a nap today, <laughs> I decided I would come on and try to try another makeup look. I love using this Profusion um, Mixed Metals. I got this last year at Burke's for like $3. They had marked it down and I love it. Um, a lot of times when I go to church on Sundays, with, if I can get to church, I typically like to use this palette because it has some really, really pretty colors in it. And it has the dark one if you want to do goth, you know, and the gray. And of course, y'all know my purple. <laughs> and then it has a really nice full-size mirror. And I also like this one. This is another one of my favorite. I don't have a lot. I'm not a makeup guru like a lot of people, but this is my Violet Voss. I got this in one of my um, BoxyCharm boxes when I used to subscribe to them and I miss them so much. This is called hashtag my holy grail. <laughs> if you can see that, <laughs> hashtag my holy grail. I love this palette. Um, I really do want to invest in some more y'all, but I got some pressing things that I'm trying to take care of first before I start, you know, but these got a lot of beautiful colors. so. Let's see what we're gonna do. I have a whole line of Milani that I love, the Milani line. I have the Milani um, Rose Glow, um, Pearl, Golden Quartz, and Rose Gold Highlighter. If you guys can see that, it's really, really pretty. That's the Pearl over here, the Rose Gold over here. So I really like those highlighters. I have the Milani Romantic Rose Blush. I'm sorry if there's a glare, y'all. I'm trying to get that off. The Milani Rose Gold um, Blush, which I love. And I have the Milani um, Caramel Even Touch Powder Foundation. I know you can't see that one because that one's really... I've had this one longer than I had the other stuff out of the um, Milani line because for years and years and years, pretty much my whole life, I didn't believe in using foundations until after I finally tried it. I would use press foundations like this, but I would never use the liquid because I just like, I don't know, <laughs> it scared me. So I finally invested in the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and I absolutely fell in love with this one. And let me see what color it is. I cannot believe I love this foundation so much. So this is um, medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistance, and sweat proof. Ooh, sweat proof? <laughs> okay. And it's number 11 for amber. And I also have the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. And I really like that. KK, I learned all this mostly from Colorful Camille. I've been watching her since, I can't even tell you how long, but I just love the way she does it. But there's so many I could I could mention. Living Life with Lily. Um, oh my God, Peachy, what's her name? Oh, 
there's so many I can't even name them all but colorful Camille is one of my favorites and this is the primer the eyeshadow primer that I got in one of my boxes ipsy boxy charm I don't know which one I don't get any of those anymore I had to cancel all those and I'm so hurt but anyway so also the Milani prime um, perfecter moisturizer so basically I'll be using the um, Milani line today and I still don't know which one I'm going to uh, <laughs> which one I'm going to which palette I'm going to use but I hope everyone's having a wonderful day y'all see my little unicorn headband that I got from um, Bath and Body Works when they had their big big sale um, I did not go back this this time because I had enough I still have not I have not even put a dent into the stuff that I bought the last time so I got a whole bag of Bath and Body Works products that are sitting up in the top of my closet so if you see a lot of glitter on my face no matter how much I try to wash it all off it's from my job it gives me such a pain because all that stuff is full of glitter okay so I don't know what kind of look I'm going for today. What do y'all think? Gray hair showing already. Just rinsed them. But, um, I hope everybody's enjoying the cooler weather if you're experiencing it. <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone that's still, you know, I have a mirror right here, so I will be looking into this mirror as I talk to you guys. But, I'm so happy the weather finally cooled down. I don't know what to do. And I was still sweating at work. So I think I'm gonna have to ask my doctor, you know, if there's something she can help me with because it usually happens when I get nervous or upset or something like that. That's usually when it happens the most, but I don't know. I think it's happening too much now. I know I haven't cut back on my sugars and stuff and I really really know that I should be drinking more plain water I drink crystal light and tonic water uh, occasionally I will drink just plain water you know but for the most part yeah I don't drink enough water I still put sugar in my coffee so and I still eat a lot of sweet stuff so I know that has a lot to do with my sugar rising, but I'm not sure about the hot flashes. Okay, I wish you guys could talk to me. Which one should I use? This one or this one? This one or this one? I think I'll try this one today and we'll try the Violet Voss um, another time. So, here we are. What colors? What color do I have on? Hmm. I don't want that mirror um, blinding you guys. So, we're gonna start with the background. And I think I'm just gonna go in with Honest right here. Oops, let me see. I think I'm gonna go in with Honest right here. So I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eye, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little smoky. Y'all yeah, know I haven't, this should still be okay. I haven't checked my expiration dates on my uh, my palettes, but I'm hoping now they'll still be okay. But I really, really wanna do this for like our Christmas parties at work and stuff. So I can walk in looking like a human being. <laughs> What's everybody been up to? I'm going to have to bring my mirror just a little bit closer. Let's see. Okay. So, I didn't shave my eyebrows. As you guys can see, I forgot. I meant to do it, but I forgot. So, I'm going to take a little bit of that. 
And I also have some makeup wipe removers here if I make any kind of faux pas. So I can try to clean my brushes. I do need to clean my brushes, but we're gonna skip over that right now today and we're just gonna do a little makeup. And let's see what else we wanna do. I really don't know what colors to use today, y'all. I wish I knew how to do this. I keep trying to learn. And it really, really pains me when I don't really know what I want to do. I get scared when I don't know how it's going to come out. So I'm going to try some of this mystical gray right here. Okay, that's called mystical. And we're going to see how that's going to go on. I don't know anything about cutting creases and all that stuff. So I'm trying to learn. I watch, um, what is her name? First Lady Lisa Dukes all the time too. She's getting really, really good. And that's what it's all about. Practice makes perfect, you know, so... The more time you have to indulge and just keep practicing, I think the better it gets. So, so we're going to put that mystical just a little bit deeper. And I hope this comes out okay. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. everybody decorating their house I still haven't started I tried to get a little start on it yesterday and the tablecloth that I bought that I love so much that was in orange and had blessings and stuff written on it it was oblong instead of round and of course I bought it early so I didn't have to worry about it running out and of course when I took it back to um, exchange it they were all gone so I gotta go out here. I need a cloth, tablecloth anyway. I gotta stop buying the vinyl ones because they keep on um, wearing out where I sit every day. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to try some, let me wipe my palette down. It looks a little bit, I know I need my glasses. Hopefully this week I'm going up to Raleigh to American's Best and get my glasses, y'all. Pray, pray for me. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go in with Hmm. I don't know which one you guys think should I go in with bewitched or unicorn okay this is bewitched and this is unicorn somebody blink <laughs> somebody give me an idea I think I'm gonna try the unicorn and we're gonna see how that goes in let's see if we could see it a lot of a lot of dust blowing out uh, it's purple I like purple y'all know that I like purple <laughs> I get that from purple and blue when purple always says purple <laughs> I gotta go over and check my girls out I haven't seen them in a while and we're going to we need these big eyeballs oh that's pretty I like that what do you think that's cute not the look I was really going for but y'all know I'm a rookie I'm a rookie it's so funny how we used to put our makeup on back in the day and never even thought about it but we weren't doing all this you know we just weren't doing it all this so let me see what can I go in the background with let's see if we want to I think I'm gonna try to use some awake right here can y'all see that right here just underneath the brow line I like a little bit of glitter but not too much just a little 
Ooh. My goodness. This stuff is dusty. <laughs> I like that. Let's see what we got here. Okay. I did not do my eyebrows first. And this is coming off a little bit. I need my mirror a little bit closer. I usually do this in my bedroom, but I took my desk out of my bedroom to make more room in my bedroom and I put it in my closet and I really really like it oh I wonder is that my money hand oh my hand was just itching ooh, ooh, ooh. okay so let's see what that looks like I don't know can y'all see that I'm gonna go in with a little bewitching on the outskirts I think we're getting ready to get some a really really big storm uh-oh I hear my phone Ooh, they gave it a little darkish hue okay let's see what we got here hmm. I can't really see guys I have a big mirror on this side a big mirror on that side and I keep a uh, wipe with me at all times so let's see should I use a little bit of this no it's black everything is so dusty I'm not sure what I should do with that you can't really see that gray that I put in there. I want a little bit more of that gray showing up. Hmm. Can't really tell, guys. What do you think? I need to wipe down this palette again because it is just like so dusty. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I guess I should have done the eyebrows first. What do you guys think? Cause now it's starting to get hot. Mm. What do you guys think? Help me, help me, help me, help me gave so many of my good sets of um, makeup brushes away. I'm kind of regretting it now. <laughs> yep, don't you hate when you do something like that? And then you like, you regret it later. So we want to just put a little bit of something in here. Bring that out. I see glitter over there. Oh, that job. Okay, let's see what we got here. And this is brown. And I don't want to put my glasses on. When I get my permanent glasses, I gotta wear those all the time. I'm like, oh Lord, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Y'all know I am by no way an expert on this and I don't really like the eyebrows to be all you know BAM <laughs> a lot of people look really nice and my sister got hers tattooed years ago and when she raises those eyebrows she looks like uh, what's her name off of mommy dears no wire hangers <laughs> I'll be like you ain't scaring me but you are scared <laughs> Cause those eyebrows will go from here to here. I'll be like, girl, please. She's like, uh-uh, what's mommy dear? Joan Crawford, yeah. And mommy dearest. <laughs> no wire hangers. Okay, let's see how that looks. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so 
I guess we should do what? What did I forget? Eyeliner? I don't like to put eyeliner on, on camera. So I'm going to come back and show you guys the rest. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I'm back doing the foundation. And I showed you what I was using, the Milani. I hope the lighting is okay in here. It's starting to get dark. So, something I thought I would never, ever, ever, ever use was liquid foundation. And I'm absolutely in love with it. What a difference. And I still see glitter all over my face. And I can't do anything about it. I tried to get it all off. <laughs> So I'm using these eyelashes, which I like a lot. They're called LA Colors Dramatic Lash. These are the Demure that I got from um, Dollar Tree. Let me see if I can cover that up. The Demure from Dollar Tree, and I really like them. I got two pair. I'm not sure if this one's sticking or not. I already put some glue on it which I also got from the dollar tree. Okay, I think I need a little bit more. I don't like to put too much, but. Okay, I'll tell ya boy, this is a lot of work. <laughs> I wanted to cover up my nose ring, so okay. So we got the foundation on. We got the eyelashes on. Let me see if I can stick that down a little bit. It's not cooperating. And I know I put glue on it. I might have to take it off and put a little bit more glue on it. Okay you guys, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can stick this eyelash down more. I'll be right back okay you guys this is the end result of this look with my profusion uh, mixed metals and I really like this palette like I said before on my lips I just I like highlighted it a little with a lip pencil and I use this um, Laritzi's undress liquid lip satin it's a matte it's really, really drying, but on top of it, I use this Tardiest Lip Gloss. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on for a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I use this Tarte, Tardiest Lip Balm, and this is the Laritzi Lip Satin. And so I really like those two lip balms. And this is how my hair, untwisted, came out. I think it's kind of cute. Of course, within a couple of hours, it'll be poofed <laughs> right back up. But this is the look. I don't know if you guys can see the makeup close. And I really like the eyelashes. But, you know, I'm a work in progress, y'all. So give me, give me time. I'm not perfect. I never will be. I forgot to um, slick down my edges, which I usually don't do anyway. But this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Love, peace, and happiness. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Thanks so much for all of your love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.